lovely day. <laughs> Deacon Arrow, my kind-hearted and wise elder. What's going on? <laughs> oh, great. It's my crazy grandson, Tony. <laughs> Anything good on TV? Well, actually, there was. I mean, it's not actually on the TV itself. Not like a fly or a piece of lint from a leisure suit or something neat like that. But are you actually watching anything good that's playing on TV? Well, actually, Tony, there was something on that might interest you. What's that? Well, anyway, they were interviewing a Catholic priest and... Fantastic! Oh, Tony, you're so weird. Well, anyway, they were interviewing a priest about the ethics of the increase in sweatshop labor production around the globe. Oh, really? Well, that's too bad I missed it. Don't worry, I'll just look it up for you on YouTube. Since I'm so hip... Oh gee, Grandma, well that would be fantastic! I mean, this is even better than the time when me and you and Grandpa were playing cars and, and you cooked me the, the pasta with the shirt and the vegetables and the zucchini and it was just... Uh, uh. About these sweatshop conditions and Where the heck, uh, heaven did that thing come from? I just from? found it, Tony. Actually, this is different. It looks like it's a video posted by the priest himself. Well, hello, friends. This is Father Peter Noble speaking, and, oh, oh my gosh, I, I thought I had that lens cap on to, to stop people seeing me. Uh, <laughs> oh, how do you... Oh, Wait a minute. How, how do you turn this down? Yes, I've seen this video recently. Yes, there have been numerous priests and nuns from around the world protesting against the increase in human rights violations in numerous companies. Many of these priests and nuns have been threatened to stop speaking out against such policies. That's terrible. Who would threaten a harmless priest or a nun? The greedy companies who benefit from violating such human rights issues. That's who. How could the owner of a company be so cruel to their workers and take advantage of the poor like that? If a person is selfish enough, greedy enough, they'll look out for their own interests at whatever cost. And I think I know who's behind all this. And greed's his middle. Well, his last name, actually, and if you think that's funny, his first name is... Is that your father? Probably. Dad? Hello, son. How are you, father? Matt and I are doing just fine. We're still in South America. A very kind family has allowed us to stay in their home for the night. Anyway, I want to talk to you about what we know of DeGridio's plan so far. Well, speak of the devil. As you know, DeGridio is still wanted for murdering Earl. So he has to lay low and execute his plans from behind the scenes. That can't be that hard for one of the world's richest men. Exactly. He's been buying off businesses in poor countries around the globe that produces multiple products. But of course, there's something that all of these companies have in common since DeGridio has become involved. They're all sweatshop labor companies, aren't they? Yes. Once DeGridio took over these companies, he drastically cut the workers' salaries to illegally low poverty wages in order to raise his own profit. Well, that's not a surprise. What's more is that his companies are guilty of multiple other human rights violations in order to increase their profit, including forced overtime and child labor practices. And since these sweatshops are based in such poor areas of the globe, I guess the employees don't have much of a voice to protest, do they? I'm afraid not, son. Looks like DeGridio has stooped to taking advantage of the poor and the lowly only to obtain his own personal wealth. You guys talk way too much. I'm glad no one else is around to hear how boring you are. I don't think anyone would stick around and listen to this stuff. Look! It's an authentic Latin American burrito! Anyway, knowledge of these human rights violations that have been taking place in these companies have been suppressed. Until recently, that is. You're talking about the protest of the Catholic Church? Yes. Clergymen and women of the Catholic Church have been getting involved a lot lately. They see how these companies are mistreating their already poor employees, and they're speaking out against it. But apparently these priests and nuns are being threatened? Yes. The Gradio must be concerned about the media attention these priests and nuns are getting, and so he's trying to threaten them in a silence. I see. But is it even worth the Gradio's time? How significant are the influence of these priests and nuns? Surprisingly, the media has been taking the side of the Catholic Church, 
and they've been giving a lot of attention to these human rights violations. Some of the Gridio's companies are even having to shut down factories, and it's all because of the Catholic clergy that are speaking out. I see. So the Gridio must want to take any means necessary to shut them up. Exactly. But there's something more to his plan. As I mentioned yesterday, he's heading back to the United States, Scranton specifically, to meet with an unknown individual. Does that mean you'll be coming back home soon? Yes, it does, hon. The Pope requests that Matt and I continue to follow DeGridio, but he wants us to take at least a little break so we can visit with you and the rest of the family. I mean, the Pope is a nice guy. That's great, Dad. Yes, it is. We'll be heading back home tomorrow night. Uh, hey, Dad. Yes, son? I know this is kind of random, but I have a question about Grandpa. Yes, son? Well, it's just that the last few days he was in the hospital, I couldn't help but wonder if... Oh, was... no! I'm sorry, son. I have to get going. Matt seems to be choking on a jalapeno pepper. We'll talk about this later, okay? Uh, sure. Uh, well, okay, Dad, be careful. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. I'm looking forward to seeing you, too, son. Pax, take him. Matt, breathe! <laughs> That's great that your father is coming home tomorrow. We haven't seen him in almost a year. Yes, Easter of last year. His birthday, actually. That's when the Pope ordered him and Matt to track the Gritty around the world. I've missed him. I know. You and your dad are really close. Yes, we are. I'm just as close with him as he was with Grandpa. Actually, there's something I've been wanting to ask him about Grandpa. And it's important. Don't worry, Tony. This will all be over soon. You'll get to see both your dad and Matt more often. I'll even get to put my son to work mowing the lawn. You can ask your dad about that question when he gets back. Let's hope so. The Catholic Church will not be silenced. Yes, our program will be finished in a matter of a day or so. Once that happens, we'll give you orders to strike. No, this plan has absolutely no flaws. Those pathetic priests and nuns aren't responding to our little messages, so it's our only option. My business depends on it. And I gather that you and your troops will benefit from the donation I so kindly made. So hopefully, you'll make sure that I remain in good spirits. Oh, them? <laughs> they won't be interfering this time. Oh no, I'll make sure of it. I have special plans to lure them right to me. They'll be the first of our bloodshed. And I'll have my revenge. Keep you updated. <laughs>